Millions of Zimbabweans already facing food shortages owing to poor rainfall in previous seasons have been pushed to the brink by the El Nino-induced drought that's been declared a national disaster. Following that distress call, humanitarian agencies are now scrambling to raise the money. The funding environment, the resourcing environment has not been easy. Uh, there are a lot of competing emergencies uh, going on. Think of the Syria, think of other larger scale emergency that attract the main attention of all the donors. Plus, uh, we're very happy that the government has now uh, declared a state of emergency because it will help us, together with the donors, to raise more money. The WFP is already feeding 600,000 people in 20 districts over the next two months using part of a $65 million kitty it had secured based on the previous need. The number of the vulnerable has now doubled and much more will be needed over the next 12 months. What's also critical is to ensure interventions are sustainable. At the same time, also an opportunity while responding to the current situation to make sure we respond in a way that is not free food handouts as such, but we look at how we can use this opportunity to work with communities to create assets such as small dams, uh, rehabilitation of irrigation schemes, which then in turn can be used towards the next season or future seasons when there may be a disaster again to bolster their resilience. The drought is also taking its toll on livestock and villages are being encouraged to destock. That could have implications further down the line. I think if the situation then improves, a lot of people are not going to have draft power which they need to plow their fields because they have lost so much in terms of, um, of the livestock. And there is very little that they can do in terms of being able to um, keep their livestock uh, going when they can't graze and they can't get drinking water. Well, humanitarian agencies are at the forefront of this fight, but there's also a role here to play for the private sector. One of the country's leading private sector bodies says it's lobbying government to allow private players to import grain. At this moment, government has to liberalize as much as it can in the securing of such permits of importation of grain. I think you are aware that grain permits in this country were not an easy work to secure. He said financial institutions could help out the cash-strapped government by structuring syndicated loans for the imports. All in all, an estimated one and a half billion dollars, more than a third of the national budget, is needed to feed three million people. It's a tall order, yes, but it is not impossible. Words that will give hope to those who are coming face to face with the hunger. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.